Pixel Panic! What's up, everyone? I'm Dave, and welcome to Pixel Panic. We're uh, playing through the uh, Legend of Zelda Outlands. The, uh, the hack. If you caught in the last one there, I had a lot to say about a lot of things. So, thanks for putting up with that. <clears throat> I'm feeling a little less frenetic <laughs> than in the, the Turricane episode, so, um... If you guys like it when I'm a little bit wackier or whatever, let me know. Uh, comments are always appreciated. Likes, of course, and all that kind of good stuff for the YouTube SEO crap. But, um, yeah, let, let me know what you guys like. If you guys like the wackier Dave, I'll make sure I get a little more... Get a little more... Boom! For each, uh, for each episode. But, uh... I uh, just want to get through... <laughs> Out of my way, you bastard! See, look at a little bit of that crazy seeping out there when I get frank frustrated. You want a piece of this bug, man? I stab you. I stab you. I stab you. <clears throat> yeah, so, <clears throat> yeah, this game's incredibly hard. Um, uh, oh, why? Why, you bastards? Why do you taunt me? And I'm gonna get in here, and it's you fucks. Oh, you eat it, bitch. Um, taking the place of the Dongo are these guys, which, if I'm not mistaken, took the place of... Um... Oh, what the hell? He was dying! Oh, you can't touch him when he's flashing! Oh my god! But anyway, uh, those took the place of Zoras, if I'm not mistaken, in the second Zelda. I could be very wrong about that. But th those look like Zoras, uh, very much so. <clears throat> Which, uh, they talk about a creature that has evolved in a gaming franchise. They have undergone so much in the way of the cosmetic overhauls. And in almost every single Zelda, you see... Um, a very different take on them. Um, some are definitely more dramatic than others, but they go from being like in this game, or the first um, Legend of Zelda, they were, um, I don't want to say cartoony, but they were, they had like a, oh god, no! They had like a, um, like a comic book monster kind of, fe oh, you little turd. Eat it, eat it, bitch. Eat it. Now I'm out of bombs. Gotta go back and get bombs. Look at this shit. Oh, thank you for killing me, everyone. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Uh, you know... I, some of you might be like, Why are you dying so damn much? Play this game. Go find it. Go download it. Play it. It is just a night. It's so tough. Because the first Legend of Zelda was tricky. But I wouldn't call it necessarily hard until you get some of the later levels. It was more about... It was a mind game than it was anything else. Um, this one is... No. It, it is screw your family hard. It is screw everyone you love hard. It, it's just so rough. It is bad toilet paper rough. And it's, and it's in the simplest ways. So they up the difficulty of the monsters even at low levels. Um... But they, you know, the controls haven't been revised at all. So you're seeing a humongous I increase in, um, oh, I need to get that thing, don't I? Let's go after that thing. I don't know how to get the thing with the stuff. So let's see if we can go after the thing. Um, yeah, there's a huge increase in, in the difficulty level, but there's no, almost zero increase in the control. So what you're experiencing is just pure madness. It, it's just, it's just harder. Um, the AI isn't any any uh, better than it was before, but it doesn't need to be because the the what the monsters can do and the uh, the menacing yet simple movements of them um, make it so it's just it's just hard, and they've always been that way. Um, but you know, I get not a complaint. I have always praised the fact that these games were tough because um, this came from back and I've said this before. I know it. Um, came from back in the time when you maybe owned the one game, and you, that's very true with me. I would have, like, the one game. It wasn't until much later on did, did my uh, Nintendo collection really take off and expand. So, um, you know, you have the one game, 
And uh, it, it, so it better be damn good. Because you're going to be holding on to it for a while. And so the you know, Legend of Zelda definitely delivered. And it was long, too. Which is why I always thought it was such an awesome value. Is because, yeah, you know, it was it was tough. But it, it took... Even if it wasn't hard, it just it had a lot going to it. Now, of course, by today's standards, it's nothing. Um, you know, because back in the day, you couldn't make a game that was very long because of hardware limitations. Um, so you were stuck playing a game that was difficult. So the difficulty is what gave it its longevity. Um, you know, you didn't have the speedrunners that you do today. Okay, I don't know what to do about you. Because you're just... You're just a nightmare. I, I'm, I'm honestly at a loss for a lot of these things, because... And you know what? Um, I, I'm getting this impression... And I could be wrong. Uh, and, and definitely correct me if I am so. But what if the developers of this game pulled a link to the past on us and was like, hey, you need to come back and beat these... Oh, shit. Uh, beat these bosses or... There we go. Um, or get these items later because of some skill that you get later. I'm wondering if that's... Oh, thank God. I didn't want to have to go outside and fetch bombs. Um, I'm, I'm curious if that is the case. So I beat the boss, and I leave, and then I can come back and get whatever it is I need to beat that little mini-boss guy. And God damn it. God damn it all. God damn it all! Your mother's... Just got in the way. It's just so hard to beat him. And you get the environment fighting you. How many times? Oh, just how many times can you guys see continuing one, uh, one video? Jesus Christ! If you're still watching, thanks for hanging in there. I know how tedious this must be. I'm gonna try my best to not uh, be stuck on level one for yet another uh, episode. If I have to, I'll edit. I'll edit it all out. But I'm. I really don't want to on this one. I don't want to, um... I don't want to do any editing. I, I'd rather you guys see the game as it is played. Oh, look at that little dick trying to throw a boomerang at my ass. Well, fucker. Boomerang your mom. Okay, oh, what's the easiest path out of here? Don't go to the left, don't go to the left, you, yeah! Okay, now we got a shot. We got a fighting shot here. We got two of these Dodongo slash, oh, we got one left now. Uh, the Dodongo slash um, Zoras. Oh, do not make me waste these bombs. Eat it! Fucking eat it, bitch! Yeah! Oh, you're going to make me work for it. What an asshole. <laughs> you know what, though? Honestly, uh, I I totally approve of that. That is that is that is fucking cool. Because like you have to beat the boss to get the Triforce, but you still got to do a little bit of work to get because if you were. Oh, it's not a Triforce. It's the fairies. I forgot on this one. Um, but yeah, level one down. Um. Yeah, you'd 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 have to. Um... Yeah, we got a little fairy guy in there. Um, yeah, if you mean if you if it was your dungeon. Oh, Christ on a cracker! If your dungeon, you'd protect all the goodies too. You want the hero going down there and getting a free heart? Oh, there's the eight block. Oh, bitch! are everywhere. Oh! They got Octoroks out in the ocean now, which makes a little more sense. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, man! Oh, it's getting real! Oh, God, where am I gonna start? 
Where am I gonna start? Am I gonna start back at the very, very beginning? I guess it really doesn't matter. I have no idea where to go. Yep, okay. I don't even know where, uh, because there's no real map. I don't know where level two is, so I don't know if this got me. Oh, these little shit bags. Oh, look at this. This is fucked. See how hard it is? They just push you into a little hole. In true Zelda fashion, you you don't know if where you're going is is escalating the the difficulty level uh, enough for you to be there or not, um, and that's what's so cool about Zelda games is when when they do that when they uh, when they they leave to question, am I going the right way? Some people, uh, I don't know if I should trust this guy. All right, well, sweet dude. And a stab. But yeah, when they leave you to question whether you're doing... Arr! Question doing the right thing or not. Um, that, some people get frustrated with it, but I think that's the best thing in the world. Because you... If, if, this was, if this was what was... I mean, it's a true role play. Oh god, there we go. Yeah. Oh, I fucked it up immediately. Uh, yeah, because if, if you were the hero... In, 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 you, how would you know? Unless you just happen to roam these fields, and I doubt it, given how dangerous they are out here. Okay, so we're not getting them right off the bat. Uh, nope. What was in here? Was this some dude selling shit? Oh. Ah, uh, what the hell? You bitch! Oh, you bitch! I'm just a sucker for it. North, west, south, rock, west. Oh, it's getting hairy in there. North. West. Huh. No immediate south. South. What the devil? Okay. Uh, yeah. That got real creepy real fast. We're not doing that. That guy just took my money. That's all there is to it. I've always kind of had the secret rule that you don't pay fortune tellers in games because, typically speaking, they're um, it's it's a it's a rub. It's it's a ruse. Like it's not. It's not intended. Most game developers use them as a, a, a way of... like They're not intended to actually be helpful. Um, it adds comedy or maybe some plot. But usually game developers... What's up, baby? Huh. Usually game developers don't actually use them for... Um, truly functional. They may do some things that are functional with them. But for the most part, like you're going to see them play a... Less desirable role like or not desirable like functional role like it, it they, they don't really do what you think that they would do and tell you how to play the game they're not a they're not a walkthrough guy oh shit i want that oh shit huh i am not getting that anytime soon well shit um I, 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 oh, damn it. Ugh. Oh, I'm out of there. I'm not going to go for it. One rupee ain't worth it. Um, golly, I am at a loss. I don't know where I'm going. Um, I'm having a hard time deciding where I've really been. Um, I may have to look up a walkthrough, which I hate myself for. 
Um, but it may be the only way to make this work well for like a let's play like this. Damn, that spider block. Meh. Um, I just don't want this to get dragged out to where it, this is unwatchable. <laughs> Which it may be anyway. Fairy! Fairy, come back! Fairy, come back! You can put it all on me! I was wrong! And I just can't live without you! I really couldn't. Uh, yeah, so anyway, we will- we'll find out where we're going here, um, I'll- I'll figure it out, or, uh... Oh, crap. Or we'll, um... If I have to, I'll do- oh, god. Look at this. I'll do a, uh, oh, god! Those things are really hard to hit now. Um, I'll do a, uh, I'll do a walkthrough at my last resort. Um, jeez. You know what's crazy about this game, and I'm gonna say this real quick before we go. Um, because of all the, the things that you know about the last, the last game, oh shit! Um, it gives you some really bad preconceived notions. Like, I already feel like, oh, I'm not supposed to be here! Because it looks like it's the hard end level, you know, silver stages. Jesus. Maybe I gotta go back and try to get that, that device, but... Okay, I'm gonna die. There we go. Alright, that's, that's good enough signal for me. Um, we will see you on the next Pixel Panic. Bye, everyone.